Hello, my friends, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. In our last video, we started the game. We solved our first case, I think. I have questions, though, because, like, was the guy who we found whose gun was missing, was he the actual criminal or was there something else going on? Like, was he a bookie? The guy who worked for him, was he a bookie as well or a bookie's apprentice? I just, did I miss something when I was investigating? I just, I want to know what happened. And I can't, I, so far, it doesn't seem like I can. But anyway, we are currently on our next case, armed and dangerous, potentially. I could be making that up, but we're, we're trying to stop an armed robbery. And I feel like this is going to be timely and I need to drive quickly. And I'm, I'm going to be stressed out about it, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay. It'll be perfectly fine. Whoa. Straight through the next intersection. Lady. Where am I going? Where am I going? <laughs> How far away is this? No, I, I don't get a map. There we go. Where am I though? That's that's what I wanted. Okay, there I am. So I'm I am very nearby. And let's go again. Take the next right turn. Um. All right, one of you guys needs to. I know. Take it quick, you guys. The cops are here. We gotta move it. Oh. They're shooting. Westlake Savings and Loan, 9.19 a.m. Oh, <laughs> um, R to reload. Come on, stick your head out. Really? Got him. Okay, let's go around this way, reload. Stay in cover! I'm getting hammered here, Phelps! Try for the front door, keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. Okay. Total eight. No, 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 no. A and D to move and cover. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. Not a chance, copper. You can see closer. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Stay down. Ooh, that sounds very dangerous, gun. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Yay, I survived. <laughs> Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. He did it. Is that the second case done already? This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? Yeah. You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Hmm. Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, 
wound way too tight. <laughs> and Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Oh, we're... we're, we're... Wendell Bowers! Stop! LAPD! You can go screw yourselves. There we go. Oh, run. Why run. Watch it. He's hiding in the alley! Ah! Suspects are marked on the map with a red blip. Okay. Bowers! Hold it right there! Stop now or I will shoot! I won't tell you again, Wendell. You don't want to do this, Wendell. Get down from there right now! Get Where are you gonna go? Oh, up the pipe, really? Stay the hell away from me! Ow! Right you gotta be face. kidding! You fucking asked for it! There's no way I'm going back inside! I've done my time! It's over, Bowers! You assholes already screwed me oh, once! Oh, run faster! Run faster! Oh, <laughs> we should not be doing any of this. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Gonna open a gun? Ah! No. Nope. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Come on then, pretty boy. I do like a good headbutt. They're serious. What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in ten years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, Eight. Donahoe, six. Kowalski, six. Hudson, five. Kelso, two. Leadership. Uh -oh. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Oh, oh Kowalski, dear. six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office now. No, you should not be smirking about that. <sighs> Buyer beware. We're just clicking through all these cases, aren't we? For every cop, <laughs> there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Or are they hey, not? Cole, you got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay, you're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Come on, I got friends who are they not partners anymore? Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Okay, hang on. Tab. 
uh, people. Buyer will be where? Can I go back to my old cases? No, I can't. Shooting victim found dead on sidewalk. Occasions? None bush shoes. Men's shoe store scene of the fatal shooting. Yeah, I want to go to my log. <laughs> I can't help it. No, no, it's not the log. It's my statistics. Look, three cases done. <laughs> Street co crimes completed. Apparently, I have to do 40 of those. Landmarks discovered. Film reels. Vehicle types. Oh, there's 95. Do I like steal cars as a as a police officer? <laughs> One of 13 newspapers viewed. Game. I'm, I am 8.5% of the way done. Wow. <laughs> um, total clues found. Oh my God, this is going to be so bad because I'm going to be like, I missed something. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'd save, but I can't save. Okay. Broad daylight. Crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Examine the victim's head and arms. Okay, head. Let's go back to his head. This is... I mean, it's kind of morbid, right? His arm. No, up, up some maybe? Making it weird on purpose, I promise. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. C. Galetta, apartment five, South Broadway. Pearl earrings, retail price fifty two fifty. What on earth? P. Martin. C. P. Martin. Galetta, layaway receipt, pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Oh, I miss that. Bank of Arcadia. That's all the payments he made on it. Layaway ticket number. Okay. The only reason some people get lost in thought is because it's unfamiliar. Back out, maybe? We already did that one, so I don't. Apparently, we're doing it again. Hmm. So it is very hard when to hear the chimes when we should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness oh okay i swear this town is going straight to hell yeah were you with the last one don't you people have anything better to do skeleton goes into a bar and orders a beer and a mop fn browning Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Okay. Did I put it back in the trash can? Okay. Clues. Layaway voucher. Okay, and then FN Browning handgun. I keep wanting to hit escape and just leave the whole menu, but it, it doesn't work Come on, that way. I got friends who work at the examiner. How about 50 bucks for the exclusive? Hmm. 
your parents ever ask you to run away from home? No. That'd be pretty crappy. Uh, can I can I help you, sir? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Okay, shoe store clerk, eyewitness to the murder of Everett Gage. Witness details are entered on the left. Okay. Eyewitness account, apparently. I'm like, there we go, finally. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Okay, if you think the witness is lying and you have proof, select lie to accuse a witness of lying, you will need. I don't think she's lying. I mean, she looks suspicious right now. Have to be my notebook. Who was he getting the pearl necklace for? Was it for her? Doubt, maybe? I'm having a hard time believing that, young lady. Oh, incorrect! You want to be taken to a police cell? You're hardly any older than me. Don't you dare talk to me that way. A man is dead, Miss Galetta, and it's a criminal offense to lie to a police officer. I will take you downtown. Oh, gosh. Get out. Get out right now. Send in one of the other policemen if you must, but I won't say another word to you. Oh, no. Can I, like, how do I go back and fix this? Because I want to, I want to, I want to try to be good at this. Hang on a second. Okay, so I finished investigating the body, but when I was doing that, there was... Oh, I just walked over a dead body. I feel like that's bad luck. I saw something glinting right here. Yeah. Oh, shell casings. Okay. Shell casings. These look like 32s. Okay. You have such nice manicured nails, Cole. Okay. And then we can go get the gun here. I've got friends who work at the exam. How about five bucks for the exclusive? FN Browning. Serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. Oh, we're done. Back out. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Oh, okay. That's new. Don't you people have anything better to do? Early bird gets to run. Hi. It's like a mouse. It's a oh, talk. Here Sir, we go. I'm Officer Phelps. What exactly did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. I want to see. Excuse me, officer. I want to see. You want to see? Ugh. Like, don't be weird. If people witness this time. Witness identified leaving the scene of the shooting. Okay. Clues. All right. And then, okay, that should be fine. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. And if you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Hmm. See, here is where I would save, because I'm not sure which to do. Doubt didn't work. I could tell her she was lying, maybe. Uh, can, I, can I help you, sir? Do you work here? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. 
Okay, eyewitness account. That's the one I want to do. Can you... A witness details are entered in the left. Yes. Shoe store clerk, eyewitness to the murder of Everett George. Questions are listed on the right. Okay, can I... There we go. Eyewitness account. Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> okay, so if you think the witness is lying and you have proof, select like lie. To accuse a witness of lying, you need to present evidence. Press three to accuse a witness of lying. So lie. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Layaway voucher. Did he buy that for you? That's what would be my question. Your pearl earrings, Miss Coletta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. Tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You can what? lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Possible murder suspect? Yeah, who is this guy? Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. You think the witness is lying, but you lack proof, select doubt. Okay, I feel like the game's telling me what to do right now. So press two to select doubt. Maybe? There we go. Doubt. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. <laughs> is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. What? That... Okay, possible religious motive, I, I suppose. Details of shooting? How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. Select truth. Okay, so we're going to accept the statement as truth. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened to Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... My, never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Okay, let's not worry about your earrings when, you know, someone died. Maybe that might be a little bit more important. Can I look around here some more? No. I don't think so. But maybe it could it could be a thing. 
Or it could not be a thing. <laughs> okay, so people... Ever gauge. Shoe store proprietor killed in shooting. Okay, I don't want to review the evidence. Clovis Galetta. Okay, we talk to her. And then Edgar Kalu. Jewelry store owner and murder suspect. And then intuition. Intuition points are gained and it seems like I have next rank reward five hidden vehicles. Hmm. Case objectives? We search the crime scene is still not done. Doesn't give me anything to go on. It doesn't. I'm just like walking around and clicking on a bunch of stuff. And no, no gold handles, so. There we go. Maybe there's something here. No? Hmm. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfield. That's a couple of blocks from here. You thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Investigate Hartfield's Joy. Shouldn't we go to like the gun store and make sure that he actually did, did those things? Like it's his gun? Okay, Eagle sends. Hmm, which one should I. Which one? I would say the gun store. Yeah, let's go to the gun store. That destination. Is it behind us? Hartfield's jewelry store. Okay, it's not, kind of. I, I need to. I need to go now. Hang on, I gotta look at the map again because I keep hitting the, give me directions partner and it's not actually working. So I need to turn right and then not this road, but the next road, turn right. Whoa, 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 hey. Oh no, I didn't, I, I don't know why we're doing that. <laughs> no, enter the vehicle. Season from hell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go straight. Sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. Keep going on this road. Now it's working. Go straight through. Oh, I'm in a turn only lane. Go straight over. Wait for the light to turn green. Keep LA safe. Drive safely. <laughs> Golden Tide something. The lady from Shanghai at Paramount. Peter. Oh, apparently I could have just gone that way. Well, there you go. Straight on here. Oh, why in the, the trolley lane? Probably. <laughs> Straight through the next intersection.
Look at me. I'm following the traffic signals today. <laughs> I'm trying to anyway. Drug company. And look up higher, but I can't. Turn left up ahead. Okay. Oh my goodness, have we hit every single stoplight? Not quite. Sure way. Ruben off fine paper. Let's not hit the pedestrian. That would be bad. Take the next right. Whoa! Nope, oh, more pedestrians. I'm a police officer, so I probably shouldn't hit them. Right. <laughs> Eagleson's gun store, 2.36 p.m. Hello, sir. I wish I could say, okay, the game saved for me. All right. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Hmm. Thanks for your help. All right, it's leaving. Clues. Murder weapon, pos okay. Possible religious motive. Possible motive of racial enmity between Kalu and Gage. Okay, I feel like there's gonna be more to it than that. Murder weapon serviced. Store owner testifies to Kalu servicing Browning Pistol Serial number 01138. Okay. I guess we get in the car. There we go. I was like, great, my partner will drive. Um, we need to go to the jewelry store, I suppose. Go straight through. It's got the little levers for stop and go. <laughs> That's kind of cool. The dings. Go straight over the intersection. Okay. It's nearby. Go straight. Ah, don't hit me. Take the next left. The good fella club, we serve the best beer. Did that guy just get hit by a car? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really new at driving. Oh my, there we go. Odd man out. Keep LA safe, drive safely. Northfield Jewelry Store, 2.36 p.m. Okay, uh, question Edgar Kalu. All right, in we go. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? No, not really. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no, uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch, go Cole, go! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Hey, 
Kalu, get back here! You want it to my back the next time. Don't do this! Shoot the creep! Type the bomb to work. Oh, case failed! You, but you told me to do that! What? I... I'm so confused. What did I do wrong? <laughs> Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Liar. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! He's just like, hi, Mr. Officer. Alright, apparently don't shoot the suspect. Hello! Get back here! There he Find is. Him up and throw away the key. I'm out of here. Great. Go with And then he's a long way around the bus. Too late, Kalu! Oh, look, it's sacred. Oh, my God. I just got close enough to tackle him. Kalu. Come on, Cole, run faster. I'm not We're... built for these situations. Watch out, everyone. Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> <laughs> the case that makes you and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? <laughs> You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. Um... How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Is it just me? I'm totally getting captain from LA confidential vibes from his captain calling you boyo. So, I don't know. Something like that. I may have watched that movie a few too many times. I'm just like, he's evil. He's trying to take over Mickey Cohen's rackets and we're going to have to arrest him, aren't we? <laughs> so anyway, argument with Gage. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Really? How, how is, how is that? 
I, I kind of doubt what he's saying. Hmm, use intuition? Oh, okay. Oh, I? Uh, ask, ask. Is this like a call home? Remove an answer? Select ask the community for statistics on how other detectives approach this line of questioning. Okay. I can't move my, my, there we go. Uh, remove an answer? Oh, so he might be lying, maybe? You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Oh, but we have an eyewitness. Suspect positively identified you. We know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That you hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Possible religious motive? Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Cullen? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. You, I don't have any more intuition left. Or do I? Remove an answer? Hmm. Doubt, perhaps? You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stup Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Should have waited for your lawyer. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps. Isn't it, lad? Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Flashback? Oh, Police Academy Achievement Unlocked. Apparently I've, I've made it through training. Show complete. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Prepare for reassignment. I'm not ready for reassignment yet. Like, I'm kind of stressed out. <laughs> Accomplishment Police Academy. Great, I did good. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. <laughs> I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's so Who's serious. Intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. 
What is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Yay! Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Okay. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. Do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda, Patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. You think those vice boys get any on the side? Okay, well, this is where I'm going to pause here today. So on Saturday, I will restart this mission quest thing and and see where this traffic detectiveness takes me that sounded so much better in my head but anyways as always thank you so very much for watching please do keep yourselves safe and i will see you again on saturday with another new la noir video